Hey Brian, here's your swing from today. On the left is the one before we made the changes and on the right is a swing after the changes. Let me explain the lines and things we've got going on here. There's your setup on the left and the setup on the right. So one of the main aspects we looked at was firstly your aim. You can see on the left here how you're aiming extremely to the right. Okay, and we put the alignment sticks down so that you were uh, um, parallel to the target. I'll show you that again with a view from behind. Um, the next aspect we looked at was the grip and you can see on the left here how your left hand grip, one with the glove on, is extremely what we call strong and you can see it's far too much of the, of the grip, uh, of the glove I should say. On the right hand side we then um, neutralize the grip somewhat by twisting the, the left hand more to um, more to the left. Okay. Let's just take you through the swing. We'll see what effect that has had on the movement. As you can see, you have quite a big press forward, which isn't necessarily a problem, but it, the reason it's a problem for you is that it, it twists the club more to the right, leans the shaft far too much forward, and increases the strength of the grip. So now, as you go back, because your hand, as you well, I should say, go back. Let's keep that because we also want to point out. Because we have a wide stance and we talked about the Ferris wheel and the centric of the golf swing, wide stance, sway across to the right. And just about to see that the club face is looking down towards the ground, which means it's shut. Okay, so let's hold that position there. And let's go to the one on the right. We've got a much narrower stance. We've got the grip a little bit further in, but I'd like you to move it so we can see your left leg um, a little bit more. So around about a little bit of a circle where I'd like to see your hands probably a little bit more here. That's where I'd like your hands to be. Um, and with the grip neutral. Okay, so as you move back, because we've got a narrower stance here, Brian, I feel that you aren't swaying back as much because if you do you'd fall over. So okay. A nice good hip rotation, see how the knee moves in good. Let's take you through the swing. On the left through impact and on the right to impact. What I want you to note here is the lines that I've drawn on. As we take it through the goal swing, because of the stance width and the way we're rotating, you'll note that through the golf ball, and because we've got you to get your arms much higher and over your back, that you are finishing more on your left side and through the ball, as you, if you, as you described. We can see how before you were leaning backwards and see by the angles of your spine. This has really happened not by me mentioning it to you, but just by you. Uh, changing your width of your stance and being aware of throwing your arms over your head. Okay, so let's just take a quick look of um, a golf swing down the line. And just to show you how to look at the alignment. Okay, again with your posture, if you could hold your head a little bit taller, would be good, but again we would work on this as we go. Okay, on that. Okay, on the left is your alignment, and on the right again alignment using the parallel lines. Again, this is where we want the club from here to be fully over your back and with your weight on your left side. Even though the one on the right wasn't the best shot, it was still a much more fuller swing than the one on the left. Okay, just a look on the one on the right. And this again gives me a much smoother motion. Okay, Brian, so if you continue working hard on those aspects of the grip, um, the alignment, um, 
the width of your stance. Um, and these things will start to happen for you. Again, I would recommend that you practice off a tee to work on your swing. That looks pretty good. Okay, so for now, I'll sign off. Thanks, Brian.